What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, the E36 is behind me. We got some parts in for it, and I got my buddy Dave coming over to try to help me get this thing running today. He has a power steering pump. He's got the Guibo bolts that I need because the other ones were seized in the old Guibo. And I got the corner lights, and I got tail lights, and I got a shifter. And I think I got something else, but I can't remember. But I'm hoping that today we are getting this thing running really thrilled to actually get this thing going because i mean this thing has just been amazing as you can see got the stance a little bit better i am going to probably get uh some different coilovers at some point i am also thinking about getting different wheels but i'm not too sure but i am going to probably get this thing cleaned up and stuff once we get it running because i really want to get like i said tail lights corner lights shifter and just get it going. I gotta get the exhaust built for it. I have the pipe over here, so I gotta get this welded up and stuff. But, fortunately I ran out of welding gas, so I gotta get some more of that. So I gotta get that, gotta get the coolant in there. I gotta, uh, the list keeps going once the more you look at it, it kinda sucks. But hopefully today we hear it running, which is gonna be sick. I'm gonna wait for Dave to get here so we can start diving into this thing. So look at this shit. Dave's only been here for fucking 10 minutes. Already got the whole car apart. I told you I was, I was not the guru for this, but you are. So he's got the intake off. He's going to start finding out which wires need to be plugged where, which hoses need to be plumbed and go from there. So I'm going to get out of his way so that he can keep doing the thing. Thank yep. you, sir. No problem. <laughs> the taillights are a little bit darker than I expected, but they look a lot better than broken. So I'm going to put these bad girls on there. I'm gonna put the tail lights on there. And yeah, so it'll definitely help transform this car a little bit. All right, so Dave got the motor all back together. He said to go ahead and get in and try to start it and cycle the key to get some fuel and stuff. So I do realize I still gotta tighten the motor mounts and whatnot. So, but let's hop in this thing and see if it starts. All right, well, Dave said it's good to go and try to start, right? Yeah. Uh oh. Cycle the key a couple times, find the fuel. Yeah, if it works. Should I just try it? Yeah. It's cranking, which is a good thing. Oh. Oh. It's a Harley Davidson. check i should probably check that hang on no no all i have is that one uh, i think that's brakes or trans i'm not 100 percent sure and then an airbag light yep. i took them bolts out of my i'm about car. to say I, I got a sticker that'll probably cover that right up them bolts pop out super easy all right pull the cluster out and they just twist out Shit. This car's only got 145,000. 154, I'm sorry. It's 155,000 miles. It's idling by itself. Yeah. This thing's good. You're the man. <laughs> it sounds a little off. Well, it's got no exhaust. It's straight manifold right now. Yeah. And it's hop, 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 But hop, it should hop. be idling a little smoother, I think. Well, we, we don't even have the mass hooked up, do we? Mass there is hooked up. Ah, there's a check engine light. Plug that back in. Also, the O2 not hooked up. It might have, you know, a fucking O no O2. Spark yep. plugs could be bad. You never pulled them out and checked. Never in. did. Um, that motherfucker sounds camped the, right now. The fuel could be nasty. Yeah, could be bad fuel. Yeah, because the fuel that's in this car is probably different than what was in the car that it came out of sick well i'm still wow it smells bad i'm gonna turn this thing off this thing smells bad dude but it runs so let's get some more things tightened up that smells horrible 
Do the lights work? Yeah. Now? Or wait, maybe the key needs to be on. They're on now? Yeah. Oh, they're black. <laughs> I need to bleed my clutch, too. I got nothing. I wonder if... They are soft. No, this has nothing. I had no. I had the line open. Are you fucked? Okay. Yeah. Don't mind this. This isn't staying here. Ow. This is just to kind of help the resistance a little bit since there's no filter. But we got coolant in there. There's straight pipe. Oh, and if you didn't notice, I put the tail lights and the headlights in. Tail lights look sick. Love this. But I hate the front corner lights. These blacked out lights, they're just staying in. They'll work for now, but it's not what I want on here at all. I, the ones that I saw in the picture, they were the more smoked version, kind of like the taillights are. Uh oh. Did you do that? Yeah. Oh. I plugged cylinder two full pack and it shut off. I unplugged these back four and it changed nothing. So we got a misfire. Yep. That's why it's running rough. off, yep. but it's running. Yeah, it's still running. <laughs> Sick. All right, so I need coil packs. Um, I pull coil packs out, check plugs. Okay. All right. Well, it's we're we're a huge step ahead though, which I'm super stoked about. So, all right. Well. On to the next thing. All right, so like I said, we got this thing running. I, I am gonna order, I think, new coil packs and spark plugs just for shits and giggles, just so I know that that's all good. Got the power steering on there. I need to figure out exhaust. I'm probably just gonna order a new exhaust because I don't really like how this has the resonator and this massive muffler. So I'm probably gonna order a different exhaust for this. Um, and then I'm waiting for the DSSR linkage to come in. That should be here either tomorrow or the next day, so we'll see. But I have the shifter, um, and yeah, so huge shout out to, for, to Dave for coming here today and helping me get this thing running. It's awesome. So I need a couple little things to button it up. I am also going to order different corner lights because I am not a fan of the blacked out corner lights. They're just staying it. Honestly, I'd rather, I'm not a huge fan of clear ones either, but... I think they'll look okay, especially with like the clear fog lights and whatnot. Maybe I'll get some yellow ones, who knows, but definitely wanna do that. So I think the only other thing as well is the front half shaft on the drive shaft is a little long. So I might need a shorter one for that as well. So but things are coming along. So I'm gonna keep on trucking on this thing. All right, boys, so it's the next day. Um, went and got some sleep, but what I'm gonna work on today is getting the shifter put in. So I already got the uh, bottom side all unhooked. Um, what I'm gonna do is get this shifter off, which I'm pretty sure it just pops. Ugh. Yep, just pops off. They don't twist off. They got like a clip in here or something and it clips onto this little guy. And then I gotta get all this stuff off because this basically sandwiches on the trans tunnel. So I'm gonna get this stuff off, slide this through and then I'm gonna have, which I'm not super thrilled about, especially for like a street car having a really tall, I mean, it'll be down lower, but I don't know. Anyways, I got this one on there. We're gonna see, cause I don't really have the stock shifter. Maybe I'll end up not liking this and going back to the stock one that's a little bit lower. Cause I kind of like this shift knob, even though it's not an M at all, but uh whatever so anyways i'm gonna get this taken apart so i can get this mounted i ordered the dssr linkage from drift hq um the one that's for a 325 being that this is a 318 but the motor is basically 325 um and then i found out that walzer had an extra one up on the shelf so make sure you're checking your parts before you decide to just start ordering things because i seem to do that sometimes and uh you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to get this probably hooked up as much as I can 
He also said he might have a front half shaft that's just like a little bit shorter. So that way this one isn't jammed into the center support bearing. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this interior taken apart and get this shifter mounted and then see if I can get his DSSR linkage to be hooked up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to need two hands for this because I really don't want to break it. Because as you can see, this interior is pretty nice. I mean, besides where I'm sitting, you can't even see it. There's a little rip in the seat, but everything else, I mean, my old convertible, this I had to glue on like three times. This wasn't even there. I think this was like all weird and whatnot. So, but I'm going to work on getting this off to get the shifter in and yeah, so let's do that. All right. So I was going to start taking all the center console out and stuff, but then I realized that this boot here actually just comes unclipped. So I got that popped out. I got the little like isolator, which I will be putting back in because again, this is going to be a street car. So I'm not going to be looking for all the fumes that are going to be coming through here. So I'm going to get this popped out from the bottom and then get this one put in and go from there because it's really pretty self-explanatory. And then this thing kind of, you just put it wherever it's supposed to go and you adjust this little guy and then you do the thing. So let's do that thing. So let's get this out. All right, well, I got the shifter in there. I just got to wait for my buddy to get here so that he can help me tighten these because I can't really tighten those from the top side. I need someone to hold the bottom or hold the top. Get that tight, get the boot on, and then that'll be good. I did have to pull it back a little bit because if it was too far forward, I would actually be shifting into the dash there, and I don't want to be doing that. So, But, I mean, it's not as high as I thought it was going to be. It's still a little too tall for my likings. Maybe I'll change the shift knob if possible and make it drop down a little lower. So we'll see. But it's coming together slowly, so let's get this tightened up and then hopefully get a drive shaft on it might be able to drive this thing today all right guys so i got this all tightened up as you can see up there i got the dssr linkage on there that walzer had i actually what i ended up doing is using a ratchet on the top and just kind of wedged it into the dash so that i could tighten these from the bottom i got the linkage on there and as you can see i got the drive shaft there but as you can see it's way too long so I need one that's probably about an inch to two inches shorter because it's literally going to be jamming into the center support bearing and that's drooping down. So I definitely need one of those, uh, get that all buttoned up. I need to get the bracket for the dipstick tube because that's actually leaking oil, which sucks. So I got a rag up there so it's not constantly dripping. I need to bleed the slave cylinder, which, you know, I kind of gravity blooded a little bit, but again, going to need a helping hand for that. Uh, so we're making progress, we're definitely making progress. So I want to get all that done, get the drive shaft finalized, because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this exhaust on that I have. Uh, I got to get what's cut right there. I got to get that welded. Um, I want to get this exhaust put on, and then I'm probably just going to make an exhaust for now. Uh, just from that pipe to the stock one, um, just because I don't really have the money to be buying an aftermarket exhaust just yet. It is coming because I do want to make this thing sound pretty decent. Um, it's already got no cats and all that good stuff, so it will be a little bit louder, but nothing crazy. Again, it's going to be a street car, so I don't really need it to be super raspy, super obnoxious and whatnot, and plus BMWs don't sound great straight piped in my opinion, so... I'm gonna get this thing buttoned up. Let's get some more parts on this thing. Cause I mean, it's it's getting there where, I, it's getting to the point where I can actually almost drive it out of here. So drive shaft and exhaust and we'll be in good shape. <clears throat> All right guys, so while I'm waiting on getting a drive shaft for the E36, I know some of you guys have probably seen this in the background of the loft that we have up in the shop. So I had a raccoon issue where they were coming up in here and Eating, getting into the trash. Anyways, they got into one of the couches and I need to get it out of here. Plus, I kind of want to turn the loft into like still a chill area for the boys and stuff, but I want to put a desk up there because we have the towing business or some of you guys know, and we need, you know, printer and all that kind of stuff. And I have I, I just want to get a set up little office up there. So what I'm going to do is actually get rid of one of the couches that are up there, get it cleaned up and kind of button it up a little bit. So let's go up here and I'll show you guys what we got. Ugh. 
So it's not a big loft, but this is the couch right here. As you can see, I got to clean the walls because the damn raccoons were coming in through here and in through the walls and stuff. So we're going to end up enclosing all of this at some point. Um, but what I want to do actually, because I was going to just put this or put a desk right here where this couch is. But since we have the TV mounted up here, what I actually want to do is put this couch here and then I'll put the desk straight ahead right there or in this corner. So that way, you know, you're still just sitting because you're going to be sitting down anyways. And right now you can see like it's it's tight up here, but, you know, so I'm going to get this thing a little cleaned up. As you can see, the kids come up here and they play with the cars and stuff like that. So I want to get this cleaned up, vacuum it, make it nice again. I actually got to get these down because these <laughs> are probably going to go right in there. Yeah. So let me get this all cleaned up and yeah, see how we can get this couch down. Honestly, I'm probably just going to yeet it off the top because as of right now, ain't nothing down there that I'm worried about. So uh, yeah, might just say Tim Burr and see you later. I just don't want to hit my little screwdriver release on the lift so but all right let's get this cleaned up all right i got the couch flipped over and i know i'm gonna get some shit for doing this but i'm gonna do it anyways <sighs> oh there's some change in there Let's see if it's going to hit. Where are we at? Where are we going to land on? Eh, nothing important. Let's see if I can get this set up real quick so you guys can watch. I don't know how dramatic this is going to be, but I'm getting it out of here. It's going down. It's going down. Oh, well, you fell. Sorry. But, uh. Do it, right? Perfect. <laughs> Down. So I just got to fix a couple things that fell. Oh, fix that already. So put the camera back up. Yeah, so just so you all know, I got cameras in here. I got cameras. So don't be rolling up in here. All right, guys. So I got the couch moved like you guys saw. I got me a little table up here so I could put my laptop and a little scanner right there. So that I could, you know, put some files in the computer and stuff. Got the chair from downstairs because I was going to buy one. I was like, wait a minute, I have one. And that's one less thing that people need to sit on when they're here. So got this there. It's out of the way of the TV. Got everything hooked up. I am probably going to get a little, like, end table over there. Just because there's not a lot of room for, like, a coffee table. Plus, we made a little stand here. So if you're sitting here, you can use that for a cup and whatnot. Get a little stand there for drinks. So... Eventually, we're going to insulate, put drywall up here, and all that, and finish it up. But it's looking a lot better up here, vacuumed, all that good stuff, and it's nice. I'm going to start getting some more things for the walls. Got my car over there when I went to Mid Pond. <laughs> What's up, dude? I thought it was cool because look at the drone right there, right on my spoiler. So, but Walzer's here getting his livery redone. Uh, like I was saying, we're getting ready for Fuel Fest this coming weekend. Uh, I'll put the event post right here. So, as you can see, his color is now different. It was kind of like a root beer color before, and now it's more of like a, what would you call this, fuchsia? Fierce fuchsia. Fierce fuchsia. Fierce. He is super fierce. fierce. He is the fiercest of the fierce. So... We're getting this finished up. And then if you guys notice, there's actually a couple more pieces here. I'll go back on the other side. So before when we had them, it was just where it says Tandem Factory, this piece, and then this piece. And I told him, I said, it kind of does look a little just like cut off right there. I feel like we should add a little more. So he had the designer make some stuff up and we decided on this here. So I kept my color because my color's fucking sick and uh, got the pieces recut out for my car. So these will get added onto my car. 
once we get done with his because we're just going to do one at a time. So going to do that. And on this, as you can see, I got a dry shaft, dry shaft, and there's another one laying somewhere else. Unfortunately, Walzer did not have a shorter front half shaft. So he's got a buddy that is going to see if he has one. He says he thinks he does, so I'm hoping that that can be done. Because um, I would love to get this car going and just, like, get it off the lift. Honestly, I want to drive the damn thing. So, unfortunately, we got to wait on a drive shaft. Uh, I will get the clutch bled and get all that stuff good because, I mean, once that's done, then it's just making the exhaust. Because, like, like I said, I was going to order one, but I think I might just make one because um, the front is already kind of whatever. So I'll just make finish that up, keep the resonator, take the muffler, the stock muffler off, and just put a nicer muffler with a nice tip on it and call it a day for now. And then maybe when I make some more money, I will, uh, you know, order an exhaust. So I'm going to finish... Helping Walzer get this. He's pretty much done the whole, he, he's done the whole thing by himself currently. Besides this piece, I did help with this, this bottom piece right here. But I mean, he's gotten some hints and watched a couple videos on how to do it easier. And you know, now we're not sweating our asses off. All the mosquitoes are chewing your sweet blood right on up. Yeah. Yes, they are. He hates it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just because I was born and raised on this property. Mosquitoes don't bother me at all. Not that they don't bother me. It's just that, like, they don't, they don't bite me. They're, they're just too that, used to that, me. That, that I am one nice. with the mosquitoes. So, anyways, I'm going to get out there. I'm going to help him, and I'll show you the other side. Sorry for the noise, but I wanted to get this thing. We just finished it all up. Got all the stars on there. This thing looks sick, dude. All of it. So... Like I said, the extra pieces we put were right here and on the bumper. So we're gonna back his out, pull my car in, and do the same thing. All right, thing. so now we got mine in here. And damn, is this thing dusty and crusty. Got leaves all in it, parking it under a tree. I wish I had a bigger shop where I could just leave it inside, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna get this thing dusted off real fast, wipe down this section of the fender and that section of the bumper, and then my car's done because like I said, we're leaving all that. I'm not changing my color, so. Let's get that done. And just like that, boys, if you saw from the last clip, like I said, this right here, boom, 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 and boom was not on there. So literally the livery stopped. It had this, that star, and not this. From here up was not there. So from this star up this way was still there. So it just definitely brings it all together and on my car, you know, like I said in the past videos, I did my side mirrors. Walzer wants to do his because it just kind of ties it all in. We're thinking about doing something on the hood. We're not too sure yet. I don't know if I want to because I have a massive hood and it's just flat. I don't have a custom hood, nothing like that. There's no vents. There's no nothing. All there is is cat and raccoon paws all over the hood of it. But this thing turned out really, really, really good. So... With that, I mean, we're pretty much finished with this. We're still waiting on our tires to come in. Hopefully those come in in time. Walzer really needs them to come in time, Chris. Yeah. So I got some over there mounted. I'm gonna throw my white wheels on uh, because I still have the bald ones from when I went to English Town with Chris. And uh, we did that thing with the streamers, um, with uh, Agent and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get this car cleaned up before this weekend. But that's probably going to be it for this video, guys. Like I said, I'm sorry I can't be driving the E36 right now, but at least you heard it. And, yeah, so if you could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be sick. And if you're in the New Jersey area, come up to Fuel Fest. It's going to be an awesome time. Um, come find me. I'm going to have some merch. We're going to have some team merch, all that kind of stuff. So definitely come find us. Come get a ride along. Hit us up. So, But with that, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.